Hi, I'm Colin Abrams. I'm an independent technical analyst and I do technical analysis for the Purple Group. Uh, I've been doing technical analysis for about 25 odd years and uh, I'm here to try and help you to gain a better knowledge of technical analysis. Technical analysis is using price to make money on the market. So really you're looking at the price chart of any instrument, it could be a share, a currency, a commodity, and based on the price you can decide where to buy and where to sell. The price is really a printout of the, all the, the emotions of all the people involved in that instrument, let's call it a share. Um, share prices are really determined by emotion, and a technical analyst tries to analyze that emotion and it's expressed in a price chart. Ultimately, when you're buying a share, uh, you want to buy it at a certain point and sell it at a higher level. So really, the price is all that matters at the end of the day. Regardless of what you base your decision on, if you don't sell it at a higher level than where you bought it, you're going to not make money. So ultimately, price is king as far as technical analysis is concerned. Technical analysis is also called charting. So really we're analyzing the price chart, we're trying to find good places where to buy, where to sell, and if you know how to analyze the price chart using even just a few basic techniques, um, you can spot areas that are high probability areas where to buy and good areas where to get out as well. One of the most basic things would be support and resistance. There's certain levels on a price chart which would be called support level. That's a level where you'd expect buyers to come into the market. And obviously if there are more buyers than sellers, that pushes the price up. So if you know how to identify a basic support level, you can buy near that level and using just a few basic ideas, if you see the price moving up from that support level, you would then buy and you could hold it to a resistance level, which is where sellers come in and take profits there. Um, you would then put your stop loss, which is to protect you in case it goes against you, you'd put that below the support level. So that would be one basic technique. Another technique would be a moving average, which is just a simple way of identifying the trend of a price. For example, a 200 day moving average is the long term trend. That's approximately a year's business days. Um, a short term moving average could be a 20 days or a 50 day moving average. These are just ways of simplifying the analysis to tell you the direction of the trend. And then if the price pulls back towards that moving average, that's often a good time to buy as well. It doesn't take long to learn, but it does require practice and more than anything, it actually requires discipline to stick to the rules of a strategy. So ultimately, you want to come out with a strategy that's got some basic rules. For example, if you want to buy a share, make sure the share is in an uptrend. Don't try and pick a bottom. Once you've determined it's in an uptrend, then try and buy it on just a short-term pullback. Um, and then look for places to take profits. And these are all basic technical things that are taught, not hard to learn. In this week's report, I've written a chart on TrueWords. Uh, we all know TrueWords as a clothing company, and what's happened is that TrueWords has, True has been very strong the past two months, but in the past two weeks, it's pulled back quite sharply. It's had quite a sharp pullback together with the overall market, and now it's reached a support level on the chart called a trend line, and yesterday it started moving up off that trend line. So we had a classic buying setup taking place, a strong share, it's pulled back to a level of support and now it's starting to move up again. The fact that it's moving up again is telling you that the buyers are coming back into the market. And really what you want to do is you want to follow those buyers when you get that sign that they're coming back in. So that would be a, a nice way of doing it. Um, another way is to look at what are called oscillators. You might have heard of ideas like um, instruments called stochastics, or indicators I should say called stochastics, RSIs. These are again basic technical indicators that tell you if a price is overbought or oversold. TrueWorth, for example, is oversold, having pulled back for the last two weeks. 
starting to move up again and it's a great time to buy it. Then the next question is where do you take profits? So there are a number of things you can use in that regard as well. One of the things I'm using in this chart is a, a, a price pattern. It's formed a pattern called a price channel, which is just a basic sideways movement. And from that channel, you can actually project a target. So I'm using that as an idea of where one should start taking profits. It's always a good idea to take profits in increments. Sell half of your holdings when it has a good run, keep half on in case it keeps going up, and then move what's called your stop loss up to protect your profits in case the price moves against you. If you want to check out more of the analysis that I do, you can go to the Easy Equities website. I think it's called Collins Technical Takes. You can also go to my own website, it's called themarket.co.za, where you can learn more about the analysis that I do and the courses that I give.